fluid art. Let me start with this. Uh, fluid art, it's abstract art. It's a form of abstract art when the liquid colors mixing together and creating the painting. So this is this technique, which we call open cup. It's really cool when you just starting to learn and you can see all those cells, you see those pop-ups starting just showing as a stars, like from the black, everyone like see like, wow, so cool. Or um, this technique, which is a dipping when you just put the, the painting in a paint and get it out. Look how cool it looks, right? How it's flowing from the stick. Let me show what I mean. So I'm taking a little bit paint, something like this, it's enough. You see, just like this, just a little bit. And then I'm adding fluid roll. Don't forget to shake. That's a good time to do the exercise and shake because the otherwise it's, you know, it's a chemicals. So they must just go kind of loose bad, but they still are good. I'm usually using the ratio like one to five, something like this. Again, if I will put too little of the paint, I will add paint. If I need more um, fluid roll, I will add more fluid roll. Now, this is the most boring part of the fluid art. You need to mix it and it might take a while. Thinking that it already looks like one color, you know, it looks pretty, pretty good to me. Then I'm doing my test. I'm taking the paint and it should flow. You see like this. And I usually prefer to start with white, not for any special reason. It's just the way, um, it's easy, so when you're just a beginner, it's always safe way to go with the white first to make sure that all other colors are still really um, keeping their brightness and cool. So I really like always to use white in my paintings. So today, it's a good day. It's first day, 21st, right? <laughs> So let me use the oranges. I like my orange. Look at the colors. It's so pretty, so yummy. Okay, so orange. And I always love to go right there with all the fiery colors. So red will look nice. I'm adding some red as well. Really nice, almost orangey red. And I will put the black on top of it, just like that, just here. And you can see I put those knobs because when the painting will be drying, I don't want it to sit straight on the table. It will just get, um, it will stop basically to any anything and then it will be really hard to chip it off the painting. So something like this will save you a lot of time. Put it a little bit this way. So I'm putting it like this, closing, turning it around. It already looks nice, right? It's kind of look very cool. I, I don't know, I, I so love this. And I love the process and I love how it's deliberating you. Now, what you need to do, you need to open the cup. And a lot of people just pushing it up and I see a lot of professionals doing it as well, but it's not really right. Um, if you will do that, the painting will not look that nice as it could be. Look at that side. It already looks like a small painting on a cup, right? <laughs> Very cute. Okay. One, two, three. Look at the colors. Are they gorgeous? And now I'm starting to spread it. Mood, so look what I got. 
This is one of my favorite tools. It's like, you know, like my gun, you know? And look what it does. I can get all kind of cells out of my painting just by using torch. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much. Thank you again. If you will be interested or if you want to add this knowledge to your technique, let me know. I teach online classes. Um, I will not teach in person, uh, at least at, for some time, because we move into different state. But um, my online is still available. So I would love to see you guys and hopefully we'll have fun together. And again, thank you so much for inviting me to this really, really fun group. Thank you guys.